Work that safety with your eyes, right? Yeah! Since September 10, 2010, the Rockland community has come together once a year to watch a rivalry between the Maroon and Blue. That's what high school sports is about, is playing big games against your rival and, you know, for that night you're playing and you have bragging rights for the rest of the year. The matchup every year is going to be pretty monumental just because of the fact that the community's into it, the players are into it. Uh, the schools are so competitive. Last year, Rockland's defense had five sacks, winning the game by only six points. I just wasn't consistent enough for my team to win. Rockland's always a big game. When I came here last year, I didn't really understand, but now I do. So I'll go into it with a different mindset and, and know that I have to bring this win home for my team. Rockland's backup quarterback, Logan Webb, came through in the fourth quarter, picking up a huge first down. This sealed Whitney's fate. There was some uneasiness just for the fact that you have your starting quarterback and he's not playing anymore. And Logan proved himself to be ready. It was definitely big shoes to fill coming in and having to play against the against Whitney in the quarter bowl. Especially from my first varsity start as a quarterback. Playing at home, each team has the drive to prove themselves and to protect their shield against their rival team. But for some, this is their last year to dominate and to continue the home field advantage. The last couple of years we've always won it. It's going to be a tough challenge. That Whitney team is really good. It's a great event to come together and watch a great football game. May the best man win, and if we do happen to win, then we'll keep the streak going. Last season, both teams were ranked in the top 20 by the SAC B. This year, Rockland is in the top 20 while Whitney remains unranked. I think that you, yeah, you can keep score. Hey, it's two to one Rockland right now. Well, Whitney's going to want It's at their place. I guarantee they're going to be hungry. I guarantee you guys are going to be ready to play. So we have to be at our best in order to, you know, keep hold of that thing. You know, it should be a fun night. It should be a crazy night. It, it should be a loud night. And whoever wins has a great night. And if you don't win, it, it stinks. Reporting for WCTV 19 with photographer Frankie Winston, I'm Haley Martin.